Hey guys, so here we are in another YouTube tutorial. I'm so excited for this look. Before we start, I just want to quickly mention that this look was inspired by Paige Louise. So shout out to P. Louise and their base, which I'm using right now. And I have to say this is my current favorite base for prepping the eyes at the moment. For today's look, I'm gonna be using Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro Palette with NYX Professional Makeup Brush number 42. I'm taking Shade Mood and packing that eyeshadow until I get as much pigment as possible. And then with NYX Brush number 44, taking my time to blend this eyeshadow. This step can take a while. For easier and softer blending, I would recommend going from your lightest shade to your darkest, but for this specific look, I was going back and forth with dark and light shades. You might be asking why I took this matte white color since my lightest color was so dark but the reason for that is to make easier transition when I apply our next colors it will be much easier to blend them when you have lighter shade underneath keep in mind that this is advanced look so there will be lots of details patience and precise to create this look working again with that same blue shade I'm starting by shaping my outer corner of this look I basically repeated the same technique that we have seen already the only difference in the colors is that the inner corner will be in green and the outer corner will be in light blue shade when I blend the very end of this winged shape I will not take more eyeshadow but rather work with anything that has been left on my brush and that way you will get that soft blend at the end my next step was focusing on blending the edges again i went back with our first eyeshadow we applied so i can bring more dimension as it can get lost in all this blending process now i will make two cut creases but before that i will wipe off some eyeshadow be careful to not get too close to the area where you will be cutting your crease and here's a tip you can also use some lipstick disposable brushes i've soaked my brush a little bit in makeup remover but again be careful to not get too close to the area where you will be cutting the crease and now hands down best product i have ever used for cut crease this is blank canvas paint from ac ring collection and if you would like to have most sharpest and and pigmented cut crease ever then I highly recommend this product again I took some blue eyeshadow just to make guideline to see how high my crease is going to be went again with a blank canvas but as you can see it's a little bit mixing with our blue eyeshadow but it doesn't matter because anyways I'm going with the blue paint afterwards once I created the shape that I wanted, I cleaned as much as I could my creased area and with nitro paint from the same collection, with the flat brush, I filled and cut crease once again. And this took me a really long time to create. Taking paint blank canvas again and filling in my crease area. Now I went back to all blue colors that I've used, applying them with a really small brush so I can add some more contrast to this sort of winged shaped liner that I've created. To fill in my crease area, I'm going to use different textures. So before anything, I went with NYX Glitter Primer and starting from the outer corner, I used Back Chat eyeshadow. On top of that eyeshadow, I used glitter primer. Then I went with this green pigment, also from NYX. I also realized that the easiest and the best way to apply these pigments is with your fingers. So I also use my fingers to blend these two pigments together. In the end, I also added some neutral paint in my waterline. I think it looks so beautifully together with this overall look. Some false eyelashes in style gala from brand kiss and that is it guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you find it helpful and before you go don't forget to subscribe leave your thoughts in 
comment section down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!